Hi, in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can uh, use the HC06 Bluetooth module to connect to our Arduino and create an Android app to actually talk to our Arduino Uno board. The first part of this video is the discussion of the hardware connection. The Arduino Uno, as we know, has a serial port connected to digital pins 1s and zeros. Okay, Digital pin 1 is the TX pin, digital 0 is the RX pin. And the HT06 Bluetooth module also has a TX and RX pin. So what we need to do is to first connect the TX of the UNO to the RX. Okay, so TX of the UNO to the RX of the uh, Bluetooth module. And then the RX of the UNO to the TX of the Bluetooth module. Of course, the Bluetooth module also has its own uh, VCC and uh, ground pins. Okay, so that uh, I've not shown here. But uh, once you connect these four pins, the TX, RX, VCC, and ground, uh, you are in fact uh, fully connected to establish Bluetooth connection through the serial interface. Okay, so as far as hardware is concerned, that's all you need to do for the Bluetooth module. Uh, now we're going to look at the uh, App Inventor. Hi, we're now going to look into the App Inventor code that can be used uh, to connect the uh, Android phone to the Arduino Uno using the Bluetooth module that we have already connected. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of how to create a App Inventor a project. Uh, uh, the tutorials uh, provided by the App Inventor uh, website are quite useful, so you can go through that to, to quickly pick up uh, the whole process. Now, let's uh, look at what we need to do uh, to get this thing moving here. Uh, on the right hand side, you actually see a live view of uh, my handphone. And basically, uh, this uh, is the designer view. The designer view in App Inventor is where you display the buttons and uh, information that you want the user to see. And in the blocks view, we are going to see the uh, code that is uh, running in the background. Okay, So you can see there are four buttons here, connect, LED on, LED off, and there's a status here to show the Bluetooth uh, status connection here. Now, when I click on this connect button, so this is a, a list picker button. Uh, if I go to the blocks here, when I click on this button, what it will show is the list of Bluetooth devices that have already been paired okay, with my um, phone. So what I need to do is, uh, before I even uh, uh, am able to connect, I need to do a pairing first. Once the pairing is done and I click this button, okay, I will be able to see the list of devices that are, have already been paired. And once I select the Bluetooth module, okay, uh, what it will do is, okay, once I select the Bluetooth module, it will connect to it. Okay, and once it is able to establish a connection, it will show the status as connected. So this uh, here, this connector will show as connected in my phone. Okay, and subsequently, what I've done is I've connected two LEDs. Okay. To my uh, to my Arduino board, and the two LEDs will on, okay, uh, or off depending on the number that they receive. So these are just random numbers that I've chosen, okay. Uh, so whenever I click on these buttons, it will either on or off the button, uh, on or off the LED at the Arduino based on the code that I send over, okay. So uh, that's about it for the uh, Android app. Okay, so let's just see how it sort of works. Okay, so let's. I'm going to click the connect button now. When I click on the connect button, it shows me a list of devices that I've already paired with. Okay, so mine is the HC06 module, which is the third one over here. So when I click on this, okay, it is able to successfully pair. It will say connected. Okay, now when I click on LED on, okay, it will show that the LED turns on. Okay. Um, Okay, and if I click on LED off, it will show the LED turns off. Okay. Okay, we are now looking at the Arduino code. Okay, that interfaces to the uh, Android phone through the Bluetooth serial module. Uh, the default baud rate is nine thousand six hundred bits per second. So that is the first thing we need to set up. Okay, and what we need to do is in our Arduino code, we continuously read. Okay, from the serial port to see if any data is coming in through the Bluetooth module. And in this case, I check for two ASCII characters, N and F. 
and n and f are small n and small f uh, in s key you can see that they correspond to the yeah, n corresponds to one one zero and f corresponds to one zero two okay so that is those are two values that I'm actually sending over okay from my uh, Android app so at the Arduino side uh, through the Bluetooth module if I receive a small n then I switch on the LED okay if not I switch off the LED again these are just random numbers 110 or 102 you can choose uh, whatever numbers or ASCII characters that you want to represent the different types of uh, data packets that you want to transmit over okay so this sort of uh, wraps up and closes the loop okay so as you can see it starts off with the physical uh, uh, interface okay as we have seen between the Arduino Uno and Bluetooth module subsequently you have your uh, Arduino sorry uh, Android interface that you can develop using the MIT app inventor and finally is the Arduino code over here okay so I hope with this you are, you are able to uh, very quickly put together a working, a working prototype that combines the Android app with the Arduino Uno and the Bluetooth module so good luck uh, for your project. Uh, all the best. Thank you for watching.